when a company needs to raise capital, they can either take on debt or sell equity. So when I say take on debt, it just means get a loan. Like you get a loan from the bank or a loan from a friend and pay an interest rate on that loan. And equity is just selling off part of your business. So I know a lot of um, things you can find online say debt is cheaper. But you have to look at the numbers to actually prove it's cheaper without just saying debt is cheaper. So for instance... If I needed $50,000 for my business and the only loan I could find was this 10% loan, that means I have to pay $5,000 in interest on this loan. Now, alternatively, if I needed $50,000, I could value my company and say I valued my company at $100,000. Actually, I value, it, I value my company at $250,000. So that means I could sell 20% of my company for $50,000. So I'd have to find an investor, but say I did find an investor who was willing to give me $50,000 for 20% of my company. So that means the investor gets 20% of the profits and I get the other 80%. So if my profits for the year were $40,000, that means I had to pay the investor $8,000 to um, for their share of the uh, company because they own 20% of it. 20% of $40,000 is $8,000, and I keep the other $32,000. So in this example, equity is more expensive. So I should take out the loan of five, because it only cost me $5,000. But what if my profits were $20,000, which is possible, and then I would pay the investor $4,000 for their share of the business. So in this example, equity is cheaper, and I should take on the equity, I should sell part of my business because I would save $1,000 because if I did the loan, I would have to pay $5,000. Now, there's a lot of things that go into this, and this could be debated a lot of ways. And I do understand that when you take on, when you have debt, you can write it off. So that has to be built into this. But I'm just, for simplicity purposes, I'm not going to talk about that because that could get a little complicated. And on the twist... On the other side of things, you could say that, well, what if the company grows really large in like three, four, five years? Then a 20% could be 20% of a million dollars. Right, anything can happen. But just valuing it on actual dollars and today's values and today's numbers, that's really the only way you can look at it. But I hope you like this little tutorial on whether to take on debt or equity. Thanks for watching.